Hello and welcome back YouTube, I'm your host VLD, coming back for another video, and I've done keyboard cases in the past, and I would like to review which one is the best, which one is the greatest, and which one you should buy for your checkbook and to burn a hole in your pocket. In the left corner, we have stock keyboard case itself, type case, whatever you want to call it. And in the right corner, we have the green log case itself. This one is a little bit different. It has a... If you like my content, please buy me a coffee. Link in the description. Thank you and have a good day. Tearaway case. This is the only one for the Mini 6. That's like that. It's original. It's brand new. It's fresh. Hell, it's fresh scent. It's a new springtime theme itself. All you have to do is tear it off, pull it apart. It's held on via three prongs, three magnets, and it's just so satisfying. It's like ripping a band-aid off. You just feel so good. And the magnets themselves are fairly strong. I can do this all day. I get bored in the office. All I have to do is just pull it off and then it's nine to five and it's just that. The keyboard itself is you USB Type-C charging, so it's a one charger solution for your iPad Mini 6. The Snug Type Case, whatever you want to call it, is the only keyboard case that turns your Mini 6 into a netbook style computer with a trackpad. It charges via USB Type-C and it's backlit. The Snug Keyboard Case can do 10 colors of brightness. It has low, medium, or high also. It is also charges via USB Type-C. It's every color of the rainbow. It's like Skittles, just don't eat it, please. Like I said, it charges USB type c it has a hinge mechanism that's a little bit more tough it's not as sturdy and you need two fingers to turn it around you have all your cutouts for it it's a pretty well-rounded keyboard case you can the neck can rotate 360 degrees so you can hold it in a tablet almost as if it is a tablet itself the sound keyboard case with its cutouts are fairly good this is the only keyboard that actually has the ability to charge your apple pencil with a sleeve on it so that's a pro in my book granted it is a fingerprint magnet so that is a trade-off for some people you have four rubber feet on the bottom, won't go anywhere. But the other one, the Green Law, is ABS material in which that won't get fingerprints. I do like this hinge mechanism, just for the simple fact. If you raise it on the table for 90 degrees, if you go beyond that, it pivots up a little bit more, so you get more of a better typing experience, which is very smart in my book, just because no one else has really thought of that. The Snug Keyboard Case, it has a trackpad, but it doesn't mean it's good. Therefore, it's a good and bad thing at the same time. One finger gestures and moves around will work but pinching the zooming or scrolling up and down with two fingers or three finger forward and backwards will not work it's just it's like a kid with crack or something it does not work super well you can do one finger click which works fine basic navigation right click for options left click for selecting you can pull and drag anything it will work that will work actually well the keyboard will register with the trackpad but anything beyond that the selecting text is kind of hit or miss i will say three finger gesture work fairly well granted two finger gestures don't work out if you do three finger swipe left to right you have multitasking from different apps if you swipe up with fingers you have the ability to go home and four fingers take a screenshot which this isn't built in with apple so this is from the case itself the green law one doesn't have that like i said the sun case is the only one that will actually charge your apple pencil with a sleeve iron which i'm a huge fan of but the gripe about the green law one is that the top part of the case has had quality control. The cutouts for this, for the green long one, is probably by far my favorite. You have the three prongs on the bottom. On the bottom, you have your cutouts for your speakers and your charging. You have the top part charging for your pen. Like I said, quality control. It tends to slip up a little bit. This is actually my second one I've had. This will not actually charge a pencil with a case on it. So you have to take it off, which is kind of a thing I don't like. But just the ability to take off the iPad for drawing. If you are an artist, I would recommend the green long one for you. Just because of that you get raised awake with the green law one you have that option which some of the cheaper ones don't have that which it's a built-in feature so it should be standard you do have gracious cutouts cutouts for touch id which is good because some of the keyboard cases block that you have the ability to flip it the other way and then when you close it i believe it's called tent mode which i never saw a use for so if the if you like this and congrats i never have a use for this but to pull the case off you're better off pulling from the bottom because you have 
more rubber on, the, on there instead of pulling from the top just so you, you don't break or crack anything i do recommend that option it's easy to pull off the snug one you go from the bottom up when you install it just like as shown and it does have raise away granted it doesn't work quite as well as the green law one but it's still really good just the option of charging your apple pencil to with the sleeve on it is a feature i really like you also have the ability to rotate this 360 degrees so like green law you can do that too if you want to have in tablet mode which I mean, you also have temp mode which if you want to draw this way i mean it's a thing but i don't see a use for but that's just me but i just i mean it's cool but i really don't see a use for this mode the snug case says you have seven different modes so it's kind of like a transformer like it's optimus prime but yeah the neck can rotate 360 degrees which that's good because of the seven different modes when you close it it works well like i said the green law one has quality control issues with the top of the case but with other generations of this it's still hit or miss but this generation will charge just without a sleep the snug keyboard case it, it, the keyboard is fairly good both of these are the same style of layout green law one is more face forward and the snug one is more back because of the trackpad so typing will be about the same they're the same size key so you have that just for the simple fact that each keyboard case all the keys are roughly about the same in my opinion i feel as if the green law one is a little bit more better typing experience the keys are a little bit more firm the snug ones they're almost as good but they're a little bit more mushy in my opinion but type and experience besides that they're both really good they both charge via with usb type c you will only get about a one watt charging for it they are both raised up fairly well so when you close the screens they won't actually touch the ipad themselves because some of the cheaper ones will have that option so the opinion is yours which one you really want if you're more of an artist i would recommend getting the green law one just for the ability to tear off the case if you want to be more professional with let's say office setting get the snug one with the trackpad it's kind of hit or miss for the options with that but i feel as if the trackpad isn't as bad for one finger gestures but the snug one is better with the apple pencil so if you like a sleeve with it if you don't want like a piano white plain boring one i recommend the snug one i don't re recommend getting any keyboard case that's like this just spend 20 bucks more and get one of these two in summary each keyboard caters to a different audience if you're more business proficient i recommend getting the snug one just for the trackpad and the backlit keyboard if you're more of an artist i do recommend getting the green law one just because of the ability to tear off the ipad itself you can pick these both off on amazon for about 60 bucks or so so the option is yours which one you prefer i prefer the green law but that's just my own opinion so like always youtube i'm vld signing